Okay, now, Kaylin, don't get any grease on the inside of this. I need this greased real good. The actual side? The felt, yeah. What happens if I get the metal? That's fine. Just don't get it on the inside. You take it. There we go. There's one we're after. One and one eighth. Okay. Screw that on there. And we are going to cheat. I'm going to put that on there. We're going to use the impact wrench. Is this going to be loud? Yep. <clears throat> Is that what Pink Crew uses? Kind of, yeah. are we going to need? We're going to need the shift levers, which we're not going to install yet. Okay, this part, where is it? This part we're not going to use. The camera? It's, um, this one's damaged. I'm going to be ordering a new one, so we're not going to put it on right now. Uh, but it fits through here, and your shift levers fit down there. They come through, and they lock in right here. All right, this yoke is on. That's done. We're ready to install the lower pan. The lower pan. Okay. At this point, we're ready to clean this surface and install that pan with this gasket. Yes. Christian, you can go ahead and spray the gasket. Can I spray it? If you can spray it, go right ahead. Go spray it. In the meantime, we need to get this clean. I don't want any grease or oil on here at all. It can cause this gasket to leak. Okay. Alright. Okay, that's on. Now we need to install the bolts. Okay, and that brings us down to installing the emergency brake cable on it, or emergency brake assembly, which we're not doing. Uh, this was rebuild that. Okay. Oh, there is two things we got left to do, folks. We need to install the shift rail seals. We need to find one that's about the same size around as this is, like that one. And hopefully, this will fit over the shaft and it will just like that okay so what we're going to do put a little grease on your finger and put it on the inside of that seal 
Don't get it all over the outside of the seal, just on the inside. I think I'm better. Keep you out of stuff, out of harm's way. Okay? Yes. That's why I always try to supply you with gloves. Because I'm more accurate with our gloves. There you go. Okay, did you get any on the outside of it? Not that it appears. Okay. There. All right, we're going to put the open side of the seal down. Yeah, let's get a little grease for the shaft right here. Okay. Put it on the shaft. Okay. Good. All right, we're going to sit this seal down in there. Slide it down. You gotta be careful not to tear it on this cutout part. Okay, we set it down there like that. Got the hammer? Um, my. Okay, tap it down. I'm not getting it like a pinata. Get it like a pinata. Pinata. Alright, there's that one in. Gotta do the other one. Okay, got him sealed? Yeah. Or greased? Okay, the opening goes down. Um, uh, uh, do you want me to put the others? Okay, that's going to go over the seal, like so. And I'll put this back on here like this. And, okay. and tap it nice and straight. Okay, here we are, sealed up. All right? Now, one thing we want to do is we want to wipe the excess sealant off of here. And there's the Okay, and we want to wipe the excess sealant off of here. And here's the Just so that it keeps everything yeah. neat and clean. We didn't go to all this trouble to rebuild the transfer case and have it look yicky, did we? Yep. You like that official term, yicky? Yeah. Okay, let's set it down flat. Do you think it's going to work? Yes. Hmm? Yes. You think so? Yes, sir. Also, All right. just explodes. Okay. Yeah. Right now, this turns, but the back shaft doesn't. What does that mean? Um, it's in first gear. Two-wheel drive. Two, yeah. There it goes. Now we're in four-wheel four drive, locked in. we got one piece left to put on here, and we haven't cleaned it up yet. That's this one right here. You have any idea what this is for? Oh, um, wait, can I see it again? This part? Here's the deal. When this thing gets hot, mm -hmm. what happens to things when they get hot? They catch fire. Well, besides that, what do they do? They, do they expand or they contract they when they get hot? They, they expand. That is correct. Yay. They expand. Okay. Correct. When they get when they expand, what happens is. If the oil in here gets hot and it needs to expand, well, it'll build it, continue to build pressure inside it's here. How it okay, what it will end up doing is blowing out all your gaskets and seals because it will build good. pressure inside because it's expanding, right? Mm -hmm. All right, so what it does is we add this breather on here. With this breather, now when it gets hot inside, it expands and all the expansion air goes out of the breather. When it cools back down, instead of trying to suck air from the outside around all the seals, it pulls it right in through the breather. So it never builds up pressure inside here to force the oil out of the transfer case. So that's a very important thing, isn't it? Yeah. 